Well, hello everybody. This is Brandon with the Little NC Farmer coming back to you again today. I know it's been a while since I've been back out. Well, I've worked and I work full time. And so it's getting a little tough about making videos. And plus there's just not a lot really that would be feasible for a video. But we're gonna do some things today. Now this is the end of November of 2023. We are just wrapping up Thanksgiving. That was last week. And I hope and trust you had a great uh, Thanksgiving day. You had time to reflect on the blessings of life that God has blessed you with and trust that you had a great time. And But today, I'm going to work on my onions today. And I have done something new this year. I'm going to try something new I've never done before. We're going to try bulbing the onions in the ground versus in these containers like you have seen me do the past two or three years now. And I went ahead and I bought some plants from Hall's Tool. And I will say I am very impressed with their packaging and the way they come. And I follow the directions just like Greg shared on a video. Uh, how to do those when you get them and I was just like Greg it's not a perfect world I was not able to put them in the ground at that time when I received them I got them this past Saturday today is Tuesday and so I spread them out just like he said in the video and now I've got them together and I'm going to get them ready to put in the ground now reason I'm here, I'm going to put them down on the farm, but the reason I'm starting my video here, there is something that I want to show you. Guys, if you remember last year, I had several onions that bolted. Now, these are the Walla Walla onions. They are a long day onion. I have grown those. I have started these by seed and had great success with them here in my location now technically i am a intermediate short day um uh, i don't know I, I i'm still in experiment mode here with onions but these will bulb out now i have proven that with past videos now these i started from seed they're not quite as far along as i would like for them to be so i'm gonna leave these for now and hopefully within another week or two we can get these put out i'm going to plant them down there i'm not planning on having any onions here uh you know through the winter they'll be down there so if we don't make them we, we just won't make them but these are from seed that i saved from those plants this is another first for me i did manage to harvest my seed and plant them back in here these are not bought seed because those are an heirloom onion so they're i am able to keep the seed on them i wanted to try some new varieties and see how they're going to work uh, the ones that i'm getting today that we will be putting out they are short day onions uh, they had a three-pack deal i've got roughly 150 sets maybe i'm about positive they may be more than that but 150 sets and we're going to try to get those in the ground today i i just i broke up a spot uh, a while back and got that ready and now i need to go down and get it disc and get the ground prepared and hopefully we can get those in the ground i've got to make some changes to my cultivator i'm not going to bank these up like you've seen me do in the past with some of my others i'm just going to plant these flat and hopefully it'll make things a little simpler i don't know we'll just see how that's going to work but while i'm here i wanted to show you my peas my carrots that i've got here on my deck this is another experiment that if you don't try you're never going to know and so I'm not disappointed because I do have something here I can eat. 
Now it is 32 degrees out here, so we've had some cold, but these are my carrots. And guys, I have done been out here pulling some of these rascals. Um, they actually need to be thinned. And I don't know, I've thinned just a little bit. That one's not, I think that's where I thinned one. But there's some in here, and we've actually ate on some of these. They are delicious, I want to tell you. This is my first time growing carrots. And these are the English peas. We call them garden peas around here. And here's something I've noticed. Where they have a trellis that they can go on, they've done great. But like the well this one's not too bad but like these down here you can see they're pretty much toast they're not going to make anything else that's a learning lesson uh it's i have grown these in the past in the ground this is my first time growing them in containers but yes we do have pods these don't look too sporty right here but there's some over here yeah there's pods now these pods are edible they can be edible as in a salad as snow peas and i've done i've ate those before i'll actually love that uh, and that's probably what will get done here i don't think we're going to be able to get enough of them that would justify having some to shell um I just don't see that happening because we are heading now into bitter part of the winter. I mean, going into December and January, most definitely. That is if, you know, just like it used to be. Now, my little garden out there that you can see, it's gone. And we had a little critter that came in there, a little groundhog. And he wiped out all of the kale, all of the or broccoli, and all of the collards. And so that's toast. But my garden down at the farm has done exceptionally well. I've got beautiful creasy greens that I want to show you here in just a little bit. Guys, I'm going to quit talking. Let's get down there and take a look at what we've got down there.
Well, guys, we've got three rows here. Now, I had three different varieties. Uh, I don't, I've got it over here in the box what they are. I don't remember. But, well, well as I understand it, these are a Vidalia family from that family, so they should be relatively mild, not hot. And so I'm curious to see how they're going to do. Hopefully we can get enough rain. This seems to hold moisture pretty good right here. Uh, my only concern is if we have a deep freeze, that could be a disaster. But it is what it is. I mean, that's part of farming. And so I know we've got every bit of 50 to a row. And I've still got some left over that I'm going to give to a friend at work. And let him try some for himself. But uh, I've got the one at, the ho at home that I told you about. I have one row left over there that I will put those in later on when they get just a little more size. And looking at this, I'm probably, when it comes time to at least do the first cultivating, I'll probably use my tiller on it because I don't want to put no dirt to them. Uh, that's the biggest thing. I did fertilize these with some triple tin. I put that down first, covered it up, and then we went along and set the onions out behind it, me and my dad. And I think he's pretty well wore out, and I am too. And so that's a job, putting them in there. I don't know how well they're showing up on camera, but uh, let me get this down. So maybe you can see it just a little better. Now these are one of the white varieties and the red ones are in the middle over here. And so these are a short day onion, if I remember correctly. And so that is technically what we are supposed to grow. Now one thing here, I am just a little bit further south than I am at my home. So don't know if that's going to factor, especially on these long day that I put out over here. We will find out. One thing I forgot to show you guys is my garden. I told you back home that I would show you this. Guys, I want you to look at these beautiful creasy greens. Now this right here, that is perfect ideal creasy greens. I mean, that's the way they're supposed to do. They spread out similar to a, like a dandelion. And guys, that is just gorgeous. And I want you to look at this mustard over here. I mean, picture perfect. And I've done had me some of this and probably I, some might go home with me today. Uh, it just looks too good to pass up. Uh, but definitely, and the plan is for this, uh, me and my mother, we want to can some of these and have some to, to open, you know, whenever we want them. And so that's the plan. If you've never tried Creasy Greens and if you can get them, I know we do have a farmer's market not far from here. They do sell those and I urge you to try them. Now, my dad is a Creasy connoisseur, and they passed his test. He, he gave them the go. And so, I mean, guys, just look at them out through there. And I don't know how that little patch of mustard got right up there, but it did. But this is where I had the field peas, and the corn was right over there. And that's what I did with this. I'm just looking at this. That is, that looks like red Russian kale. It looks so delicious. Hmm. But anyway, I mean, guys, just look at them right there. That is just beautiful. Man, I'm, I'm gonna be grinding some of my corn shortly, I hope, and have me some fresh cornbread and creasy greens. I'm here to tag you. This is eating right here now. And back in the day 
we would come in from church on Sunday in the winter months and that old house up there that uh, I grew up in I hope it's coming through there on the video but to this day on Sunday morning when you come home from church it smells like creasy greens and fried chicken but that's what you would smell along with some percolated coffee and that's just wonderful memories but anyway guys I've got to get off of here and I've got to head back home and get ready for bed and another night tonight so anyway thank you guys for watching i hope y'all have a great day and thank you from little nc farmer